Today, I would like to show you how to configure and enable non-destructive pin reset for Windows Hello for Business. Because when your users forget their pin for Windows Hello for Business, they can potentially do self-service pin reset. But by default, the pin reset is destructive pin reset, which means that the whole Windows Hello for Business container is deleted on the device, which means that all certificates and keys that are stored potentially in the container are also deleted, which is the reason why it's called destructive pin reset. There can be negative impact on end users when performing destructive pin reset, which is the reason why you should configure something that's called non-destructive pin reset. And that's the thing I would like to show you in this video. The configuration is super simple. There is just one prerequisite, which is that there needs to be two enterprise uh, applications registered in Microsoft Enter ID, which are not registered by default. So first you need to register these two applications and then you can configure or enable self-service pin reset for Windows Hello for Business for your users. And then users can do pain reset on their devices that will not remove the Windows Hello for Business container. So first, let me show you how to register the two applications. If you go to, micro, uh, go to Microsoft Enter ID, Enterprise Applications, these are the applications that I currently have registered in my tenant. The two applications that need to be configured for non-destructive pin reset are not present here, are not yet registered. The name of the two applications is Microsoft Pin Reset uh, Service Production and Microsoft Pin Reset Client Production. None of these two applications are registered at the moment in the tenant. So let me show you how to register these two applications. To register these two applications, you just need the URL that's uh, available from the Microsoft documentation for Windows Hello for Business Pin Reset configuration or you can find the two URLs also below in the description of this video. So the first URL is for service production uh, application. So when you open the URL, you need to sign in with your global admin account. I'm already signed in, so I just sele uh, select the account. And now I need to configure the permissions that the application is requesting. So I click accept. This error is expected. So don't worry if you see this error because you will always see this error, but it's expected. And the application has been registered actually. So we can proceed to the client production application. So I copy the URL, paste the URL here. Again, I need to sign in with my global admin account. So I select the account. It again asks for two permissions. So I click accept and now we don't see any error, but on the other hand, we see just this spinning wheel that never finishes. But again, it's also expected. So don't worry about it, that it never finishes. Let me go back to enterprise applications. Both of the applications should be already registered. So let me just quickly refresh it and uh, sort it based on creation date. And you can see that now both of these applications are registered. Microsoft Pin Reset Client Production is here and Microsoft Pin Reset Service Production is also here, which means I'm ready to configure Pin Reset in Microsoft Intune because the prerequisites are already in place. So I can go to uh, the Intune Admin Center. Here, go to Endpoint Security, Account Protection, and create a new policy here. The platform is Windows 10 and later, and the profile is account protection. Click create, name the profile however we want. Uh, so I name it for instance, hello pin reset. And here in the configuration part, you can decide whether you want to allow it for devices, or users. 
is the same configuration uh, you are looking for enable pin recovery setting which is here you need to change it to true for device and we can do the same also for users but like I said it really depends uh, it's completely up to you whether you configure it for users or devices or both actually so I configure it for both I can go to next page next and here I choose assignment that it will be all devices in my example and I save the profile you see the profile has been created and that's all you need to do so as you can see it's super simple super fast now when this policy is pushed to end user devices the users will be able to perform non-destructive pin reset for Windows Hello for Business which means it preserves the Windows Hello for Business container. If you want to verify it on the end user device, you can open command prompt. It needs to be the standard user command prompt, so not, not admin command prompt. And you type in dsrec cmd space slash status. Then you scroll down to user state and you will see this can reset destructive and non-destructive when you see this you see that non-destructive pin reset is also enabled for this user and this device if it's not if the uh, non-destructive pin reset is not configured on the device or the policy uh, has not yet uh, been applied to the device you will see can reset destructive only which means that only destructive pin reset is enabled for this device. So that's really all from my side. Thank you for watching. Please share this video on your social profiles because I think it's quite important. Uh, I don't see it very often configured. So you, uh, usually organizations allow pin reset, but they don't allow the non-destructive pin reset. They allow only uh, destructive pin reset. But as you can see, it's super simple to configure non-destructive pin reset so please share it also don't forget to follow my cybersecurity world blog you can also follow my profiles on social networks such as LinkedIn Twitter blue sky or Mastodon where you can see um, some news that I share there you can find me there by my name Lucas Baran and that's really all from my side for today so thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.